Hello everyone, welcome to IT Projects Ideas. In this video, I am going to make an IoT based smoke and gas detector using MK2 sensor, ESP8266 microcontroller and Blink IoT cloud. We have used the MK2 gas sensor module to detect the smoke, LPG and carbon monoxide concentration present in air. This project has an OLED display to display the smoke, LPG and carbon monoxide concentrations in ppm. Same data can be monitored on an Android app as well as web dashboard. We have two buttons which help to switch the monitoring screen between smoke, LPG and carbon monoxide. First, let's see how this project works. The sensor detects smoke, LPG and carbon monoxide values and sends it to ESP8266 microcontroller. It also checks if these values are above safe level then it sends a notification to the mobile phone as well as buzzer starts alarming with the flashing LED. It is very easy to build but very useful project. So without further ado, let's make this project. If you have not subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get a notification whenever we upload a new video. These are the components that are required for making this project. ESP8266 node MCU MQ2 gas sensor OLED display Ray LED Buzzer Breadboard or Zero PCB. This is the circuit diagram of this project. Here I have interfaced MQ2 sensor analog pin A0 pin with A0 pin of ESP8266. BCC and GND are connected to the 3.3 volt and GND pins of ESP8266 respectively. After that, I connected the I2C OLED VCC pin to 3.3 volt pin of node MC and its ground pin to ground. It's SCL and STA pins to D1 and D2 pins of NOR MCU. After that, I connected an LED anode pin to D5 pin and its cathode pin to ground. Lastly, I connected the buzzer positive pin to the D6 pin of NOR MCU and its negative pin to the ground pin. So, I have done all the connections. I have already designed a custom PCV for this project. You can go to the download links to download the project Garber file and order directly from PCBWay.com. Because PCBWay is one stop solution for all your PCB needs like PCB prototyping, SMD stencils, PCB assembly, etc. So get your first prototype PCB ready from PCBWay.com. The link is in the description below. Just click on the PCB Instant Quick tab. Then click on Quick Order PCB. Now upload your Garber file. Select your preferred shipping method. And place your order. Now let's set up the Blink IoT platform to test this project. In order to monitor the smoke, LPG and CO data on Blink IoT server, you first need to set up the Blink IoT Cloud dashboard. To set up the Blink server, visit https blink.cloud. Create an account or simply sign in if you created the account earlier. For creating a project, first you have to click to click on the new template. Enter a template name, I am giving it a smoke detector. Select the hardware board ESP8266. The connection type will be Wi-Fi. You can add a description of your project if required. Click on Done. Now the template is created. Here are two important things that you should remember. One is template ID and another one is device name which is required in the time of programming. Creating new Blink data stream. In our project, we are monitoring five parameters. So, you can give names to those parameters. In my case, smoke, LPG, CO, button 1 and button 2 are 5 data stream. I have selected B1 to B5 respectively for our data streams for the live monitoring. The variable data type is double for all the variables except button 1 and button 2 which is an integer type. Maximum value for smoke, LPG and CO are 10,000 and default value is set to 0 for all data streams. Creating events on Blink for notification alerts. Events are used for notification alert system. So here I am creating events to monitor smoke. If the smoke value reaches above the threshold value, an event is triggered and a notification is sent to your mobile phone. So to create an event, click on the Add Event. Enter the event name. For me, it's smoke. Choose your event color. I am selecting red. Select the type of event and choosing warning. 
enter the description of your event. Then choose your limit to once every one minute. Now go to the notification tab then enable notification. Set email and push notification to device on or. Also turn on deliver push notification as alerts. Click on save. So we have successfully created our first events. Design the Blink 2.0 web dashboard. After that move on the web dashboard. In this section you will be able to see some widget for making your cool looking web dashboard. But all the widgets are not free. You will get it all if you purchase their upgrade plan. For showing the value of smoke, I have selected gauze. Level widget for LPG and CO value. Similarly switch widget for buttons. But you can choose any widget according to your project. Now change the settings of the level. In settings, you have to give a name to the widget and you have to choose the data stream with which the widget will be connected. After setting up the widget, click on the save button to save up the entire project. That's all for setting up the Blink IoT dashboard. We will set up the Blink mobile dashboard after uploading the program code. You can find the company's purchase links, circuit diagrams, program cores, required libraries and all other necessary details including program core explanation on our website. I will provide the link in the description below. Here is a source code for the IoT smoke and gas detector system using ESP8266. But you need to install these libraries in your Arduino ID before uploading the program code. Now open your Arduino ID. Go to File, Examples, Blink. Blink.agent ESP8266 underscore agent. Just copy the code provided below and paste it into your Arduino ID ESP8266 underscore agent page. Do not make any changes to other files. You just need to replace your Blink template ID and Blink device name which is available in the Blink template. Simply, after making necessary changes, upload the code to node MCU ESP8266 to Valley board. Blink IoT 2.0 mobile application setup. Download the Blink application into your mobile. After installing the application, login into your account. Turn on the developer mode if it is not turned on by going into your profile. Now click on smoke detector prototype then click on plus icon to add different widgets. You can configure your mobile dashboard as shown here. First add gauze widget and configure it for a smoke data stream. Make some changes to its setting if required. Then add two value display widget and configure them for LPG and CO as shown here. Finally, add two buttons and configure them as switches with their respective data streams. Now, go back and add a device to this system. Click on Add New Device. Click on Find Devices Nearby. Now, click on Start. Then, click on Continue. Choose the Wi-Fi which is created by the Node MCU Blink Smoke Detector. Give the Wi-Fi credentials of the router with which you want to connect the Node MCU. Click on continue. Now the board will connect to the router if the given Wi-Fi credentials are true. Provide your device name and click on finish. So that's all for the mobile dashboard setup. Now, you can see the data of your Blink device in your mobile app and the web dashboard as well. Reconfiguring Wi-Fi credentials and device without hard coding. To reconfigure the Wi-Fi credentials on the new Blink platform, you don't have to hard code the device. Under Device Settings, choose the Reconfigure Device option to reconfigure device to the new Wi-Fi network. Alternatively, you can also press the flash button on Node MCU for 10 seconds to erase Wi-Fi credentials from EEP ROM. Then, you can reconfigure the Wi-Fi credentials again by adding it as a new device. The ESP8266 will try connecting to the Wi-Fi network. Once it connects to the Wi-Fi network, 
it will display the smoke, LPG and carbon monoxide. SIM data can be monitored through Blink IoT mobile app and web dashboard. As soon as the smoke reaches above threshold value, a notification is sent to a mobile device. For demonstration, I am using 50 ppm as a threshold value. So that's all for today. See you soon on the next video. Thank you.